And hello, it's Adrian. Happy New Year. And I sat around thinking about the New Year and what I wanted to do in the New Year. And I kind of got some ideas going. I was watching a lot of the dupe uh, videos on Amazon and I thought, you know, handbags are something that I've always loved. And makeup is something I've always loved. So let's go ahead and put them together. And um, so I thought, That'll be great because whenever I think about going ahead and doing my makeup to match my outfit, I always pick exactly the wrong color because I know, hey, I'm wearing brown with peach today, so I'll pick uh, the wrong peach tone rather than the one that would have looked uh, perfect with it. So I thought I'd just go ahead and um, mix up what I love and uh, try doing some well, um, mix and matching a little bit differently. So uh, I've already got on my flower um, light illusion, and I've got on the e.l.f. Um, medium peach concealer as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and match it to my handbag, which is my new series, instead of trying to match it to my clothes. Because, like I said, when it's early in the morning and I'm tired and not awake yet, it doesn't necessarily work. So, let me show you what I'm going to go ahead and match to. Okay. I was on two videos go. Okay, let me see what I can do here. Okay, so this is a bag that I got off of the Amazon dupes, and um, again, it's a dupe, it's not a replica, um, it's a Louis Vuitton dupe, and here's the back of it, it's really nice size for handbag, opens like that, and then you've got three pockets on the inside, which I'm already using, again, nice size, and has the two-tone which I really like. I heard a lot of the um, people doing the Amazon dupe videos saying, you know, a lot of times I'll get a dupe to see if I actually want to go ahead and invest. So I thought that that was a really good idea too. And then as far as the makeup to go with it, right now what I have is the C color. And uh, this is C color number one. It's actually a dupe for the Huda Obsessions palette. And then this is what it looks like on the inside. So I thought I'd start with my shadow from that. And uh, let's see, the first eyeshadow I'll go ahead and use is the silver one over here in the corner to just get some. This will end up actually being more of a contrast to the other two colors. So there's that. And then the next one. It's going to be this middle shade. And again, go with the middle shade. And then um, over in my corner, I'm going to go ahead and use this shade right here. And um, again, it's this shade. And this is actually a very metallic look, but it's actually a very neutral look as well. And then the pop of silver gives it a ooh, little bit more of a a little bit more of a pop there. And um, let me go ahead and grab some blush, and I will be right back to work on the blush end of it. Okay, so back with some blush. I'm using some of the ColourPop blush and um, going for the orangey. Uh, this brush actually, actually both of the brushes that I've used are the uh, Wet n Wild and they are so soft. They are just really soft, soft, soft. Gonna go ahead and use uh, some of the blush topper. 
top of it. Come out with pretty much a neutral kind of. And, uh, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, Butter Bronzer here. And this is the shade 6676. It's one of the darker bronzer tones. That. And again, another Wet n Wild brush. Um, and actually, this is a real Techniques brush. And do something sort of more in the idea of contouring as far as cheekbones bring down the forehead a little bit some of this jawline and like that and let's see it's another one of the real techniques ones and go ahead and do some contour on my nose here So this is the Wet n Wild, uh, this is Bloom Time, and this is actually one of the peachier ones, and yes, I did go ahead and hit pan on it, and as far as going ahead and using that, uh, we're going to go ahead and use the big one. So um, this is actually an AOA brush. And just get as much highlighter as we can get on there. Legends will go. Okay, so we've got some highlighter. And I'll show you the whole outfit in just a second as soon as we get. Um, this is the AOA powder. And I'm pretty sure this one is the soft glow one. And another wet and wild brush. They all just look like they go together in the same set. They're really cute. Okay. And just do um when the techniques to kind of bring your eyes farther apart, which is going ahead and yeah, talking and doing this at the same time, not necessarily my best. But this is using more of the motion. Um, so you only use uh, the eyeliner from the middle of the eyeball out. And again, it's supposed to help um, when you have close-set eyes to kind of pull your eyes away from the middle of your nose there, or the bridge of your nose. And I'm going to go ahead and use some of the um, Essence Lush Princess, and this is the waterproof. And then I think I'm going to put some of the Thrive on top of it, so I get some major lashes here. And actually Lash face, there we are. Okay. And let's see. Stick to go along with that. We'll go ahead and go with this one. Lip liner, yeah. Not today. So 
So this is a healthy lip um, from Physician's Formula that has the matte-like appearance. And let's see, we'll go ahead and do some of the ColourPop 4th grade Glisten Up here. about done. So um, let me grab my coat and I'll grab my purse and I'll show you what this looks like as far as with the outfit and um, as far as my outfit goes, uh, most everything that I do, I do when I go shopping for, um, well, we have, um, yeah, the, um, Uh, Goodwill and the Ark, and um, around here Silver Silver Key as well, and so um, actually I forgot I have. So let's go ahead and put those in there too. the look, the eye look, very neutral look, some um, black eyeliner, and um, be right back in just one moment um, with my full look, including the back, and it'll be just one quick moment here. 